After five hours of grilling, the Department of State Services released the former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Galien Naba, although details of his encounter with the secret police were not available as at last night. Sources close to the convener of the National Conservative Front said he had been released. But the spokesman for the DSS, Dr. Peter Afunaya, declined to confirm or deny the information. Joining us now is Ezekiel Yaito, public affairs analyst. Thank you for joining us. The DSS invited Umar Naba, a member of the National Consultative Front. Did that give you any reason to worry? Um, first, it is the responsibility of state to ensure that nobody comes about any action or utterances that will be inimical to the security of the state. On account of that, it's only proper that if there is a situation where there is a seeming maybe security breach or concern, that whoever is responsible must be immediately summoned in the most democratic and legal manner before the security um, apparatus to ensure that whatever is being done complies with what is expected of a responsible citizen. So to that extent, what if the invitation does not um, give me cause for, should not give me cause for concern. But by the time you interrogate the action of the person involved, um, I had to personally go and listen to everything that the man, um, the, the honorable, right honorable speaker had said and it was at that time I became very, very worried because um, what he said, really, in my opinion, does not warrant any invitation. Now, the NCF has said it's not a political party. Now, if it isn't, what then are its core objectives? Thank you. You see... It is the responsibility of every responsible citizen to ensure that he, her, or his country is run in the most responsible manner. And when you start to think that what is going on is not in the best, in, in your best interest as a citizen, and then of the generality of the people, it is only commonsensical that the people that care about that nation should come together and interrogate their leadership recruitment profiling processes. And um, I, I was pleasantly, you know, before I even jump into that, everybody in Nigeria says that the problem of Nigeria is a problem of leadership. We mouth it, we say it all the time. And my question is, what have we 